Hey guys, on this video I'd like to talk a little bit, a little bit about uh, the course Innovate in Bioinformatics. I, I really want to give you a little bit more details about this course. Maybe you are interested in this course, I want to keep this course to the discussion alive. So essentially I'm going to mention to you on this video essentially why I created the course and what has changed so far and what are the, the next step, what is, what is next regarding the course. Maybe by interested in the course, I'm going to explain as well what I, how I expect to go on with the course. One of the nicest things about uh, Udemy, uh, this is my second course, I'm working on a third course and I'm as well work on uh, maybe a, a fourth course. I don't know which one will come up first, but they are all somehow connected. I'm going to leave in the description of the video the demo uh, of the possibly this third course about uh, Octave. Uh, you have all the details in the description of the video. Everything I mention here as well, I'll make my best to leave in the description of the video. If I forget anything, you can let me know on the comments, you can send me an email, uh, I'll make sure to leave somehow in the description of the video my email that can get in touch with me directly. So, uh, the motivation behind this video is, uh, let's to some extent, that twofold. From one side, I would like to let you know more about the course maybe to help convince you to subscribe to the course, maybe you are like in doubt regarding not, you should or not do the course, I understand that, you should always be skeptical about the course that you see on the internet. Maybe you may ask yourself why should I do your course, it's true that nowadays with the pandemic you have a considerable amount of online course, I myself am participating from that of them, most of them are free, as one example, I'm going to leave in the description of the video for you an uh, uh, announcement about a very nice event that is going, is going to happen uh, soon. Yeah, it's free, you can subscribe. Uh, I did an announcement here, they are from some colleague of mine. Uh, one of them is my PhD supervisor. So I believe we have a lot happening nowadays because of the pandemic and it becomes very easy. For I want to say one example I'm going to mention here in this video, I'm going to leave in the description of the video for you. I participate from a very nice talk. Uh, two days, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, I don't remember quite sure, it's in Portuguese, but it was about artificial intelligence. Uh, so I believe that there's a lot to happen, so I have no idea how I can convince you to follow the course. Maybe you can, uh, I can convince you by saying that it's, it's, it's like lifetime access, so if you subscribe to the course now, for example, you don't have to do the course right now, you can do whatever you want, it can be like a book, when you buy a book, you can read the book when you want, you can come back to the book later. Uh, when I think about Udemy, that the application, the applica if, you go, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you download the application to your cell phone, uh, you can listen like a podcast. I mean, you can just like open the course and you can turn off the phone, not turn off the phone, I mean, you can turn off the screen of the phone and that will work as a podcast. I do it myself, like when I make the review, I like to, after I create the course, I like to make the review of the course several times in order so I can improve the experience of the still. So I like to go from, for a walk and as, as I listen to the course, or even like when I follow some course on YouTube, I like to go for a walk. My brain works better when I'm walking. Another reason that uh, this course is focused on teaching, different from a paper that you read, different from several events, Events in general, they are more focused on, on kind of uh, talks. They are not focused on teaching. That's one of the reasons I create this course, because course like Udemy can be focused on teaching. I don't think that all the course on Udemy is teaching. So that I'm going to show you a kind of website that I didn't know before. I didn't know about this. I found by accident. The site did a kind of evaluation of my course. I was quite happy that I got a very nice score. Of course, the course, the the, uh, the website is not famous in the sense that I like a big review. I mean, the review was quite nice. I have no idea of the impact of the review, but I enjoyed the review because I believe the review was fair. Of course, if the review was bad, I would be here complaining about the review. I'm happy because the review was good. You never ask when someone say to a nice thing about you, like like you are smart, like intelligent. You never ask. Uh, why he's saying that, but if someone says that you are stupid, you keep asking why you are saying that. So, I don't know, I mean, of course, if I did the course, I believe the course is good. At least for myself, I never do a course for someone or write a paper or write a book or whatever that I believe is not good for somebody else, but that's how I see it, but maybe it's how everyone sees it. 
So let's go to work. Uh, let's see. So here you have the you have the you have the cost. I mean, sorry. Here you have the valuation. Let's go. F, F, uh, let's go by step. Here you have the cost. As you can see, you can uh, leave in the description of the video for you a uh, link. Uh, in this specific case, I have already bought the cost, but if you, if, if you see for the cost without buying, you see like this. You see like uh, the information, you have some description of the cost here that you can read and so on. You can see my other cost here. That's not my first cost. And the, then you can go all the information. Then you can go here. I'm going to leave for you a, a coupon that you can have a discount and you can apply the coupon here and then the price will be lower for you I mean I believe the coupon the coupon will be half of the price uh, if you wanted to see the cost based on this video see that the, the coupon has a kind of limited amount of time it will be for for about like three days uh, one of the reasons that maybe I didn't do a very good I mean I sometimes you cannot think about too much about the consequences of what you do because I launched this course in the, in the section of startup that's a very tough section, a very difficult section because you have a huge amount of feeds about startups. But my I believe is different because startup yeah, for biomathematician, I use biomathematics. So, but that's a very difficult section because startup is a very hot topic. So there's a huge amount of people, people teaching about startup. It's in English. As I think it's not a surprise. It has three hours of video. Maybe I can increase more in the future. Uh, one of the one of the one of the let's say the the I lost the score here because even though it's a very good score they gave me eight uh, but they say that the, the best cost uh, they are over the uh, cost are over uh, 16 hours get the maximum score I disagree with that that's the point that I disagree because I believe it's very easy for you to make a course uh, 16 hours of course if the course is about computer programming directly which is supposed to be a second part of this course I mean this course is supposed to be a, a warm-up a kind of a, a step for a course that will be specific about how I, I created the, the I, how I created the I created the, the the application but this course specifically is about the big idea the big picture I understand that I can increase in the future, I can increase the amount of content of the course. Uh, maybe I can talk a little bit more about startup, maybe I can talk a little bit about uh, uh, innovation, about biomathematics, I have some idea how to create new sections. But before I do that, yeah, I, really, I really like to receive your feedback as a student. So see that one of the, one of the, the nice thing about Udemy, the course of Udemy, first of all, it's a lifetime access. But the second nice thing about Udemy is that you, you can like uh, you can always improve the course. So when you buy the course, you all, you also buy all the change that you that you that you are yeah, going to receive. As well, one other thing as well that I like about about Udemy. Let me show here. Yeah, for the PS, today I did a kind of I did that today. Uh, I did I do that in all my course. So it's not precise about this one. If you go here. This is for another course of mine. I'll show you uh, an email that I have sent for another course. I just sent it yes, today. It's a, this one for my other course in Portuguese. Uh, here I'm, 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 I'm it's, a, it's called the uh, teaching or teaching uh, education emails. That after you subscribe to the course, you keep receiving this email. The, I mean, there is a can send, I can send like a, uh, four per month, maybe I can send one per week, depends how much. It means that I not just buy the videos, just buy the kind of blog as well. Here I'm telling the student about a talk that I saw yesterday. I'm, I'm giving him some tips how to use the talk. It was given by a professor, Beverly, and I talk about artificial intelligence. The reason I decided to send in then this is because recently I launched this course specifically, I'm this innovation by mathematics. But uh, there's a part as well that talk about. Um, artificial intelligence uh, because uh, on this course specifically in Portuguese I talk about yeah, a little bit about artificial intelligence 
as one of the models that you can use to bake biomathematics. So in this talk specific about the professor, he's talking about artificial intelligence as model. So he also talks about a, a lot about to innovate in biomathematics, not specifically using this name because I created this name, but what he's doing is innovative in biomathematics. He talks about the system that he created. He talks about some kind of startups that he created, he participated, he founded. So, I've, so then what the, I think that's one nice thing because when you buy the course, I'm, I'm also just sending this kind of email that belongs to you. It's, an, it's sent just for the students, a kind of a private blog that you have. So you, you also buy a kind of email that I'm going to send you from time to time, make the kind of update to what's going on uh, around the topic. So as I, as I was saying, not to lose the focus, one of the reasons I disagree with this kind of 60, uh, 16, 16 hour that uh, for me it's a lot, I mean, for the student to follow. Of course, I, 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 gave, I, I, I can maybe give, send the link, I already asked this kind of a question on the Udemy community. Uh, the people does not have one answer, so I believe this score here is not the best. I mean, the score was quite good, but I don't think that that's the best option because this it's very easy for you to make a 16-hour course about computer problems because they are just codes. But when you talk about uh, uh, innovating, it's a kind of difficult because the kind of content I'm talking about here is not very easy. It can be a very even kind of uh, you lower the quality of the course, uh, low quality if you talk a lot because it's a content that's not really easy to talk. Uh, for example, I found uh, on the Udemy a course that was half an hour. The course has a huge amount of subscribers to the course and the course has a very high uh, uh, grading, but it was just half an hour. Uh, the course was paid. People still paid for half an hour of a course, which I'm quite sure that was half an hour of very nice content. So it's not just about the amount, the, the, the size of the course. It's about as all, as all the content of the course. So, so that's it. That's what you see on the course. When you buy the course, you buy as well all this kind of subscription that you're going to receive. Uh, maybe one per month, maybe one per week. I don't have yet a kind of uh, periodicity, a kind of frequency that I'm going to send those in May. But the course, what I, want to, what I want you to keep in mind that this course in Udemy, they are alive. They are not dead. When you buy the course, you not buy like just the video. You buy it as well. You buy as well all the, the improvement. For example, if you give me a suggestion how to improve the course, when you create the new version of the course, you also have access to that. You paid already for that. You pay just one time. If I, some, some, some teachers and Udemy, they like to redo the course from zero. Maybe in two years when I, when I, when I come back to this course, I will see that this course is outdated. So uh, that's one of the score here. If you see here on the score, they have, it, they have it here uh, freshness, freshness of the course. I got 10 because the course is new. Uh, and they say that uh, uh, not update for more than two years, not update for more than two years, you should carefully evaluate the course before en enrolling in the course. I agree that some topics uh, you have to keep updating, some course uh, may be a little bit uh, about programming and so on. I guess this course will not get old fast, but there are some topics that can get old fast. So. Here is when you buy the course, you already bought the course, and you go, now, now we are going to enter on the course to see what's inside. So here I'm enter as a student, not as a instructor. So here I did a subscription for my own course, then I'm going to enter on that to show you uh, how it works inside the course. So that you see, you see a kind of, a kind of, let's say, uh, here you see a kind of, uh, uh, let's see, here you have a kind of, uh, uh, let me, I guess give me a minute, here you have all the content of the course, uh, you have the screen, you have, the, uh, uh, that's not a rule of Udemy, how you organize your course, it's your business, you decide how you, how you organize. Uh, the organization of this course is different from the organization for my first course because my first course was my first course, so on. So the organization is different. This one I, I try to apply a technique that I have learned. I don't know if that is going to work. Let me know if you like or not. But it's not a rule. As you can see, all the videos have a short, a short period of, of video, like four minutes. Uh, here you have four minutes, you have five minutes, you have one minute. Uh, that's, that's one of the tip of Udemy, that he, every video of yours should be like about uh, not more than seven minutes. For, uh, for, for me as a instructor, it's difficult to do, it's hard to do because after I create the video, I have to keep it, cut the video in five minutes, like 
take all this action for you. I don't know, my question is, you can let me know as a student if that helped you or not. Let me know uh, if as a student that was good for you or not, because it gives me a huge amount of work to do that. But I'm doing that because I, have, I hope that you improve your experience. I know from my own experience that I, when I see short video about seven minutes, I, I, like five minutes, I have to confess, it's, it's, it's very nice to, to, to learn. Uh, for the past day, this talk, this talk that I'm going to give with the description of the video, the, the professor took like one, uh, two hours, I mean, one hour, two hours of, 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 the, of talk. I mean, I, I'm quite sure that his content was amazing, but it's hard for you to follow two hours of content. I mean, two hours, one hour of content. Uh, even though uh, the online course you can stop and come back a lot of time, it's still hard to follow because when you keep the, your course short in about like, you keep the content like uh, short in about five, seven minutes, I believe it's easier for you to learn. For us as instructors, it's a little bit harder because you have to keep all the time stopping. In my case, what I do, I'm still learning how to do this technique, but in my case, I just record all the video at once. So I do not lose the, not to lose the, the rationale, or I do not lose the, let's say, I'm, I'm talking, so I do not like lose the, the how could I say, uh, the thought. Uh, when you, my, at least my brain whole work like this, I start to think, 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 then I decide, then the, the thoughts start to come. So, uh, so, uh, so that's it. That's one of the things that you're going to see inside the course. As you can see, you can see inside the course. Uh, I, I'm going just to give a very short stop here because I want to tell, to tell you something before I, I, I lose, I lose my, my, my thought. Just a minute, I'm going to come back here. Then I'm going to edit this video such a way it can be easier for you to follow the course. But my, my brain just has a, and something that I'd like to share with you right now. So coming back to coming back to our uh, to our situation case, as I was explaining, here you have a huge amount of sections. I try to organize the section. You can help me because I organize the section as a professor, as an instructor. Maybe as a, as a student, you can help me to decide the organization of the section. Uh, uh, What's very nice about the about this kind of uh, what I enjoy the most about uh, about this platform that you have a huge amount of way to, call, to to contact me. For example, for example, you can leave here. Uh, let me see if I can find. Because, because as, as I have, I have explained, explained on another. Uh, as you can see here, you have the uh, information that you can leave. And you can leave a comment as well. I do not know where I can find it here, but you can leave. Uh, let me see if I can find it here for you. As you see, here you have a question. You can like it's again just in Portuguese, but I believe you want to be in English. You can make uh, questions and the answer. Uh, you can ask me. Then everyone you see, you see, make a question. Then I, I reply. You everyone else you see. You can start a very nice discussion. Here I start. I did my my first questions for you. Uh, then you can answer the question. Uh, you can as well. Oh, the uh, uh, remember that I showed you uh, the about the announcement. So everything I do, you see here. So even if you lose the announcement, here I talk now why private is so important. So I did a very short article to you. So you keep you can ask, you can put a comment here to let me know about your thoughts about this article. So you can see a kind of a private blog in which I'll keep teaching you how the, uh, the, the course as the course go on. I guess that's a very nice, I mean, I, as a student, I love that because I believe that helped me to get closer to the, to the, to the student. So uh, here I can put some kind of tips to you. I can make some kind of a pause, uh, a PS, uh, uh, pause script. I can make some observation. I mean, I, mean I, I love this platform because the way it works, it's like he, the way it works, it's amazing because uh, it, it gives you the opportunity to, to, to as you can see here, the description of the uh, description. Uh, one thing that's quite important, I'd like to ask you kindly, that you, are, you have to make the review of the course. Some of you are, are, are already, uh, already enrolled on the course, but you didn't do the review. I mean, I, I really ask you, you don't have even to write something publicly, just give a grade. I, I hope that you can give my five stars. 
because it took me a lot of, a lot of work and I believe this course can be used for you. Maybe you are in doubt if you, you should give me five star or not, you can just ask one question. Would you think this course will be useful to somebody else? You think this course will be, will be useful to somebody else? Give me five stars. That's a way that other people find the course. Uh, Udemy is a very tough market. There's a huge amount of course there. So whenever help I can help get, I get from the student to go to make my, my work uh, appear, uh, I, would, I would thank a lot for that kind of uh, encouragement and so on. So that's it, guys. I don't, I don't think that I have anything more to say. I think I said everything I, I supposed to say. So that's it guys, I, I think I said everything I wanted to say, uh, I just wanted to let you know about the, uh, first of all I'd like to, I try to let you know about the, the content of the course, uh, maybe I have forgot something here to mention about the, because Udemy is a very rich platform, there is a huge amount of way to, to learn, and I myself I always learn, they have a community that you can talk, you can ask, you can ask, help people, the new professors, and the, the only problem is paid, but anyway, that's a, it's a way, I, I, yesterday I received my first payment on Udemy, that is two, three months now that I'm, I'm on Udemy, yesterday I received my first payment, it was like not, not a big deal, but to see the first money go to your account because of your work, is priceless, and the, I hope that this, this, I will keep growing this platform, I will keep, because I love that, I love doing this course, I love teaching people, I know that there's a huge amount of free course on the internet, uh, but anyway, I, I would like to do that. I would like to, uh, I would like to keep doing a good work, teaching biomathematics, but at the same time be able to survive because it's part of our lives. You need to survive. And the, I mean, I, I, I do not want to make, make no kind of criticism to professors for university, but inside the university, you have a huge amount of rules that you have to follow. In my opinion, the university is each time losing the, because the university the past used to be a place to teach. Nowadays, in my opinion, that's my opinion, I'm not saying that I'm right, I'm just saying that that's my opinion, the university now is just a place to publish papers, you yeah. have to publish, 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 maybe we have some exception, but at least most of the university, they are losing the, the kind of teaching oriented, the, the professor has to keep publishing, publish like, uh, they need to keep like in scores and so on and so on. I really hope that I could find a way to teach, to do what I love, uh, to teach, and at the same time that he, so you can see like, when you buy the course, you can see like a donation. You are making a donation to my work, like a patron and so on. Uh, maybe you can find a way to, to see how paying for the course, not to be like he pay, buying something that you could find for free. I always give my best to make the content ex exclusive, in the sense that when you buy the course, you have, you have something that just you have, like he, uh, uh, not, not that you be standing, uh, Udemy does not ask me to be exclusive, and there is a rule that you not have to be exclusive on Udemy. I can even publish this video elsewhere, but I have a, I decide to assume a commitment with you. When you buy the course, I have two rules that I, have, I follow. First of all, after you buy the course, I do not make the course for free anymore. I can do it, but I do not do it anymore because I do not think that's fair, because you pay for the course and I make the course for free. It's not fair for me. For me. And the second thing that I do, that once you buy the course, I mean, uh, when I do the course, I try to make uh, uh, the content as, as, as exclusive of yours as possible. The sense that uh, I try to bring you new stuff uh, if a good price. So, I, of course, I'm new. There's three months that I'm new to me. So it's still new. It's still a little bit early to say that it's going to work or not. But I really hope that it work, and I need your support. Always keep in mind that the, the, uh, you have another way to support my work. This Udemy channel has a Patreon. So uh, if you do not want to buy the course, maybe you want to make a donation on this channel. There's a Patreon on this channel that you can see. I'm going to leave uh, on the description of the video the Patreon that uh, you can see by yourself. I mean, uh, any way that can help for me, maybe, I mean, you can subscribe to the channel, that can help me, uh, give like and so on. I'm trying to give a work, I'm trying to do a work that makes me happy and makes somebody else happy. So, see you in the next video.
So uh, I just gave a, a short break how to present the course because I want to share with you some thought about why I did this course, why this course is so special to me. Uh, once I saw a presentation from Paulo Coelho, which is a very famous Brazilian writer, he's famous all over the world, when I was in Poland, I remember that there was a huge amount of books that translate to Polish. So I was very proud to see, to see Paulo Coelho we, uh, occupying a huge amount of a, li a library in a shopping in, in Gdansk, in Poland. But the point is that when I saw one of his interview, why he writes the book that he writes, he said that when he writes a book, he's writing to himself, he's writing to teach him something. I also some kind of I also saw some kind of a, a kind of a review about the writings of Mark, uh, Marcus Aurelius, which was a very famous Greek thinker, was an emperor, but was a very wise guy. He wrote like meditation, a lot of books that uh, gave inspiration to the Stoic movement, the Stoicism. But one of the things that people say that he, he when he wrote one of the, his most famous book, uh, I think it was Meditation. He was talking to himself, he was not talking to, to, to anybody else, he was like thinking, he was reflecting. This course to me is similar, not this course, everything I do for me is important that I learn as well during the process, that I, I also be the student. D during my private lessons, I learn a lot with my students, I give private lessons, so I, I learn a lot with them, I learn a lot uh, and I like this process. This course is not different, this course is based on my second postdoc. But I'm not just use my experience for my second postdoc. I'm also learn with you. And after I launched the course, I also learn a lot. Now, now after I launched the course, I start to, to see biomathematics in a different way, like innovation. As an example, I'm going to give you a description of the video, a part of the of my, of my presentation. That Professor Marge had a very nice question about uh, the decision process. I, I, I mean, I enjoyed this question because it made, it made me think. So after I launched the course, I started to see things differently. And I hope that you as well see biomathematics as an innovation. I, I'm, I have a background in, in production engineering, so I already have this kind of, I, I would say, brain focused on innovation. But when you do a course, it's like you take a responsibility that you did a course that talk about innovation by the past, so you now you have to live with that, you have to live up to that. You cannot just say that you make a, a book about uh, how to be a wise man. You need to teach a technique to be a wise man. You have to be wise now. You have to be like, he, I saw a very nice talk about Tasha Eric, about uh, self-awareness. I can leave in the description of the video her talk, very nice. She found herself like strongly about a comment somebody did about her book on the internet. So she thought to herself, I have to apply my book now. So the same way I launched a course about innovation by my now I have to live with that. So the course changed my life somehow because now I have a different brain. So I hope that I'll change your life as well somehow. Even though maybe the content is not new for you, maybe the content is not very interesting, but at least if I can teach you, I can make you think differently. That Bible can be innovating. Uh, I'm going to leave for you in the description of the video a very short part of the course and you can do not need to see, you do not need to watch all the course to arrive to the conclude that the course is good for you or not, maybe. I can, if you see very five minutes of the course, I'm going to leave in the description of the video that can maybe convince you that the course is nice or not.